Pete here with Small Business Resource Center and PeteGustis.com. Uh, this update is for Governor Wolf's closure of the real estate business specifically. Keep in mind, my primary occupation is real estate. I've been doing that for 14 years. Of course, when they sent this mandate, I looked at it real quick and thought to myself, well, this is fine. You know, I meet most of my cl clients at houses anyways, or, you know, I can meet them at a neutral spot <laughs> to sign paperwork for some of the ones that don't do online signatures. Unfortunately, um, what had happened is we got information from the attorneys here, uh, Tolpitza and Associates. Thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> and that's the interpretation of Governor Wolf's orders in regards to the real estate business. And of course, what they're saying is no person or entity shall operate a place of business in the Commonwealth that's not life sustaining, regardless of whether the business is open to members of the public. So, um, of course, that means I can still work from home. I can talk to people. I can call them. <clears throat> and here's where there's a gray area, even though this is an attorney. So as long as social distancing and other mitigation measures are followed in such operations. Well, if that's the case, why can I not meet people? Um, but what they're saying is <clears throat> that we can actually set up appointments. Um, we can't meet people at properties and show it to them. It's uh, so you can see here, a homeowner wants to put their home on the market. We have the following steps, receive a sign, sign the consumer notice by DocuSign. Of course, that's an online system that many people use, including myself, fill out an exclusive questionnaire by the home about the home beyond the, a seller disclosure, take photos. <sighs> okay, and be prepared for a different type of showing. This will involve the use of Google, Duo, Skype, FaceTime. Well, I can see that being okay. Um, I've actually done tours like that before for people who are reload clients, uh, video tour, or basically um, showed them the property uh, remotely with my cell phone. So get contracts signed by any online system instead of meeting them in person because they obviously don't want that. They want distancing. <clears throat> you can set up video conferences. It says you may not have a face-to-face -face meeting. I don't understand. If you have distancing, you can still meet face-to-face. -face. I met people all over the place and didn't have a problem. Um, if you participate in the spread of the virus, you may be liable for consequences. Yeah, good luck enforcing that. Okay, and <clears throat> be aware that the banks, credit unions, um, because of course, if you see my other video, they actually did state that they aren't enforcing it till Monday the 23rd. And Wolf is also being sued. I'm gonna put a link in the description in the video for that too in the Supreme Court because this is not a legal mandate. And what he's doing actually, not just hurting the real estate business, there's a lot of small businesses that could go out of business if they have no operation for two weeks or a month. Um, so just keep that in mind. Oh <clears throat> uh, yeah, and I don't have the coronavirus. When it's rainy or you know seasonal changes, I tend to get a little allergies or coughing and stuff like that just normal for me uh, ha, 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 ha. well i can't really say i don't have the coronavirus i didn't get tested if you want to get technical but pretty sure i don't have the coronavirus <laughs> department of banking will not take exception to licensees and registrants working from alternate light site locations <clears throat> appraisers Okay, Doo -doo. we suggest working around until format formal guidelines and regulations. Wow. Uh. So they're saying they would not phys physically, 
<laughs> okay, I don't think any bank's going to allow um, people to to not inspect the property when doing a appraisal. If they let them do that, I'm going to be extremely surprised, especially because this is a wolf mandate, and we're talking about federal loans. I, I don't see that happening, to be quite honest with you. You know, title companies, they... <laughs> I've heard of people, title companies actually doing remote signings and and um, some courthouses, I believe, ex accepting remotely signed documents. Well, we'll see how that works. And, okay, we will charge. So they're offering title services here. This document's available if you email me. Um, Support at smallbusinessresourcecenter.com. I'm just going to use that email for now. Uh, this is probably going to be cross-promoted on both my channels. Um, this is Pete Gustis with Small Business Resource Center. And PeteGustis.com, I'm a real estate agent. We offer small business help. Let us know how this is affecting your business. Uh, have a great day.